exploration of the night sky often provides astronomers with glimpses into completely bizarre worlds. While the search for strange celestial bodies is always accompanied by the hope of one day identifying an Earth-like, possibly habitable planet, a look at the already discovered exoplanets proves one thing above all. The outgrowths of the universe can produce the strangest fruits. Thus, we often find characteristics and conditions on astronomical objects that leave even the most experienced experts in sheer amazement. Now we'll show you 10 unique planets in our own Milky Way that are very different from our Earth. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries and breathtaking spectacles in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the galactic content of our posts. Draugr, Poltergeist, and Phobodor If we approach the exciting exoplanets of the Milky Way from a chronological point of view, we have to start with Draugr, Poltergeist, and Phobodor. The history of discovering strange worlds began with these three astronomical objects. As the pulsar Lich in the constellation Virgo was discovered in 1990, researchers recognized two years later that the pulses from the neutron star are subject to regular delays. The detailed investigation of this circumstance finally brought to light the existence of the three exoplanets. Since the corresponding celestial bodies have relatively low intrinsic masses, it's assumed that they are all terrestrial planets. Dimidium in the constellation Pegasus, an exoplanet orbits that helped the terrestrial experts reach several astronomical milestones. Dimidium, which was added to the star charts in 1995, is the first known planet outside our solar system to orbit a main sequence star. Furthermore, Dimidium, also known as 51 Pegasi b, was the first celestial body to be classified as a so-called hot Jupiter. This means those exoplanets, which have a mass similar to Jupiter and at the same time are clearly warmer than the largest representative of our native planetary system. In fact, the surface temperature of Dimidium is estimated to be a scorching hot 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. It's assumed that the celestial body has a bound rotation, according to which it always turns one in the same side towards its cosmic host, the sun-like star Helvidios. PSR B 1620-26b at first sight, the rather bulky designation PSR B1620-26b does not allow any conclusions about the ancient mysteries of the corresponding exoplanet. In reality, however, the celestial body orbiting a double star system in the globular cluster Messier 4 is a true galactic Methuselah. With an estimated age of approximately 12.7 billion years, this celestial body advances to the oldest known exoplanet of all. Researchers assume that the planet did not originate where we find it today. It's probable that the celestial body formed around a star that ultimately became a white dwarf. It was then captured by the gravitational pull of a neutron star and bound in its orbit. Barnard's Arrow Star you could say that the next representative on our list today is a real galactic mystery. This is not because of the planets orbiting Barnard's arrow star in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer, but rather because of those accompanying celestial bodies that we'd expect to find, but don't. But first things first, in detail, the celestial body six light years away from us is the fourth nearest star of the solar system. The question whether the small star is actually accompanied by planets or not has been caused for debate since the 1960s. In past decades, it seemed as if the estimated 11 to 12 billion years old celestial body would have no cosmic companions. However, if we turn back the wheel of time by almost 60 years, the matter was completely different. At that time in 1963, the Dutch-American astronomer Peter von de Kamp claimed to have discovered a disturbance in the proper motion of the arrow star. In the course of the investigation based on this, the researcher finally came to the conclusion that the star should be accompanied by two planets roughly the size of Jupiter. And indeed, a study published in November 2018 seems to confirm von de Kamp's theories, which had previously been heavily criticized among scientists. According to the researchers, they're 99% sure that a super-Earth 
with 3.2 Earth masses, exists in the realm of the Arrow Star. Accordingly, astronomers are confident that the existence of the exoplanet will soon be confirmed within the framework of the Gaia mission. Gliese 876d Just 15 light years from us, the exoplanet Gliese 876d orbits a red dwarf. Meanwhile, we know that the celestial body represents the innermost representative of a superordinate planetary system, which consists of altogether three objects. According to our present knowledge, Gliese 876d has a minimum mass of about 6.91 Earth masses. The distance between the terrestrial celestial body and its host star is just 0.021 astronomical units. As a reminder, one astronomical unit corresponds to the average distance between the Earth and the Sun and is therefore given as about 90 million miles. As a result of this narrow spatial constellation, it takes less than two days for the exoplanet in the constellation Aquarius to completely orbit its red dwarf. The surface temperatures that arise on the celestial body in the process are estimated at up to 711 degrees Fahrenheit. WASP 12b even faster than Gliese 876d in its orbit is WASP-12b. In fact, it takes only a little more than a day for the exoplanet discovered in 2008 using the transit method to complete a full orbit. Why WASP-12b can confidently be called a galactic furnace becomes clear when we take a look at its scorching hot surface temperatures, which amount to about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Apart from this gigantic heat, the exoplanet shows additional singular characteristics, which promote it again and again into the scientific headlines. At the moment, researchers think that WASP-12b could consist of graphite or diamond at its core. Water vapor could also be detected in its atmosphere. Furthermore, the planet in the constellation Fermin is one of the darkest known objects. WASP-12b is darker than asphalt. Trace 4 when it comes to the largest planets in the solar system, no other celestial body reaches the enormous dimensions of Jupiter. The gas planet's equatorial diameter, for example, is a staggering 89,000 miles. But if we let our earthly gaze wander into the Hercules constellation, some 1400 light years away, we realize that Jupiter is far from being the top cosmic giant. In fact, the exoplanet Trace 4, which was discovered in 2007, has a diameter of a gigantic 152,000 miles. Although the distant celestial body trumps Jupiter many times over in this category, it still has only 92% of Jupiter's mass. Moreover, the cosmic giant has posed a great mystery for astronomers for quite some time. Measured by its mass and temperature, it's actually much too large for a gas planet. The causes for this mysterious circumstance have yet to be deciphered. PSR J1719-1438b Two hours, 10 minutes, and a little more than 37 seconds. This is the fabulously short time it takes the planet PSR J1718-1438b to completely orbit its pulsar. The story of this exoplanet, identified in August 2011, is as gripping as it is mysterious. For example, the celestial body, which has a mass of 1.02 Jupiter masses, is believed to be composed largely of crystalline carbon or diamond. It was probably once a double star system, where one of the stars exploded as a supernova and became a slowly rotating pulsar. Over time, the object, now classified as an extrasolar planet, gave up more and more matter to this pulsar, shrinking itself into a white dwarf, of which only the bare core eventually remained. As a result of the extreme conditions that prevailed in this system, the white dwarf thus transformed into a planet. Kepler 37b Smaller, smaller, Kepler 37b, with an intrinsic diameter of only 2,423 miles, the object in the constellation Lyra advances to the smallest known exoplanet. The celestial body is only slightly larger than our Earth's moon. According to the official statements of NASA, it's conceivable that the small planet has no atmosphere, so the existence of extraterrestrial life forms there can be practically excluded. The average distance between Kepler 37b and its host star is 9 million miles, which in turn results in an orbital period of about 13 days. This small distance between planet and star allows the thermometer on the surface of Kepler 37b to climb to values of about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. 
GJ 1214B. Nearly 48 light years from our terrestrial home is one of the most Earth-like exoplanets known. Accordingly, some observations from the Hubble telescope suggest the sensational conclusion that GJ 1214b's atmosphere is composed mainly of water vapor. For this reason, quite a few experts suspect that the entire exoplanet could consist largely of water. Should this thesis prove true in future investigations, the celestial body would become the first official representative of ocean planets. Currently, still purely hypothetical. We want your opinion. Which of these exoplanets fascinated you the most? Give us your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions about today's video in the comments. Are you in the mood for more exciting videos about the most exciting discoveries in space? Then click on one of the thumbnails in the credits now to get to the other interesting videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.